This is another Tilly Tink Tink Timeshare Talk, and today I'm going to talk about should I buy a timeshare? There are lots of disappointments that uh, many people have felt um, regarding timeshare ownership. I'm going to discuss some of those, how to um, overcome those, and if you already own a timeshare, there's some resources and some things to help you with those disappointments as well. And this um, will hopefully help you make an informed decision on whether or not you should buy a timeshare. Now, the biggest disappointment is, of course, the fees, the timeshare costs. And just like renting an apartment or a condo, the fees are what keeps the lights on, keeps the place clean, keeps the pool and amenities maintained, etc. These fees are not a ripoff. They may just be too high for your budget. Um, and at least yearly, the timeshare company is supposed to send you a balance sheet that shows you exactly what they are doing with your money to maintain the resort property. The American Resort Development Association has very strict conduct and um, standards when it comes to resort property maintenance. You can learn a lot about that at ARDA.com. This is a great resource to use when making your decision um, regarding should you buy a timeshare or not. If you find it hard to pay your HOA fees, um, if you already own a timeshare or if you want to start out with the lowest HOA fees um, when deciding to buy a timeshare or not, I encourage you to read my book, Make Your Vacations Make You Money, to learn how I lowered my HOA fees on my timeshare as well as the monthly payments. That can be found at tillytinktink.com. If you are considering buying a timeshare, these are some more resources for you to use um, to do your homework. It's the timeshare research checklist. This is available at tillytinktink.com in the blog and lots of um, great resources, questions, vocabulary terms, a checklist to help you make your decision on whether you should buy a timeshare or not. Um, and talking about the HOA fees, a lot of people are concerned that they are passed on to their children and grandchildren. And one of the ways to overcome this is to, of course, lower the fees, which you can learn how to do that in the book, Make Your Vacations, Make You Money. Get a broker and a lawyer, set up a trust, and that will pay the fees once you're gone. And your children and grandchildren can still continue to vacation at the timeshare resort. Some other things that you should consider uh, when it comes to buying a timeshare is, is it right for you? Is it an investment and can you make money with it? So although a timeshare is not an investment as far as real estate is concerned, it is an investment from the standpoint of vacationing. If you only vacation once every five years, then a timeshare is not your best vacation option. However, if you vacation every year, then your timeshare is an investment on vacations. The average year, the average American family spends at least $2,500 a year on their vacation. So a timeshare will actually save you money when you vacation regularly if you do it correctly. You can read my blog, Timeshare versus Hotel. You can also watch the other uh, YouTube videos here on the Tilly Tink Tink channel. I do not recommend buying a timeshare as a real estate investment, but as a vacation investment. I have been able to build a business around my timeshare, and I'll also tell you exactly how I did that in my book, Make Your Vacations Make You Money. If you have questions, you can email me at erica at tillytinktink.com. All the resources that I mentioned here today are available at tillytinktink.com um, in the blog as well. Uh, I'm also available on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, and YouTube. I'm available on Facebook Live every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. This is a great place to learn up-to-date information as well as resources, promotions that I do, and offers and ideas. Um, there are 
tons of resources available on the Tilly Tink Tink blog. Um, the timeshare research checklist, questions to ask inside a timeshare tour. Can you even afford a timeshare? The vocabulary terms, the timeshare staff, who they are, what they do. How to rent your timeshare. Hotels versus a timeshare. The timeshare history and of course make your vacations make you money. These are just a few of the resources that are available to you on TillyTinkTink.com. I encourage you to also watch the other videos that are available on Timeshare Talk regarding timeshare and vacation ownership. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I hope you have a great day.